And action. The Girls of Summer is uh, about the drummer in a country girls band. She has this dream, but her family kind of is more of her priority. You know, her dad's going through some stuff and, you know, her sisters are going away to college. It's an Americana movie. It's about an American Midwest family and, and the, the, the members of the family, the three sisters, the, the, the father that's dealing with his demons, the, the daughter that's the glue that keeps the family together. Ultimately, she wants to be a musician and a singer and in a band, but um, it's just kind of like a rise to fame. Gets involved with an established country star and gets her feelings hurt. And then manages to channel the pain of that into creative work and becomes quite successful. And then, of course, he wants her back by then she's involved with somebody else. It's a female empowerment story. The message that it, that it shows to people is that no matter how terrible the, the, the hand that you are dealt in life is, you can do whatever the hell you want in this world that you want to get done, if you know what I mean. So, I think it's more of a power movie. To some degree, it's based on uh, Pushkin's Eugene Onegin. And that's a story that's interested me for a long time. Uh, so it was a chance to, to use that plot in a modern setting. Uh, I mean, it, it grew beyond, Tori brought such personal material to the script that it grew beyond Eugene Onegin. But the, the basis of it was uh, a girl who gets involved with uh, a much more sophisticated, important person. Uh, declares her love too soon, he rejects her. And then when she becomes important, wants her back, and she's by then involved with somebody else. So it, it's a kind of bittersweet love story based on Eugene Onyeh. All these obstacles and triumphs and challenges get reflected in the songs that you hear throughout the movies. It's cool. Musically, it all fell into line, and if you're making a, 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 a movie about a country girls band, what's going to go wrong? Well, the music is going to be lost. But this, uh, the, people really like it, and uh, it, that really, that aspect of it really came through and was well performed. Alan Turner and John sat and and you know dreamed up these songs to meet two criteria. One, uh, Alan wants to tell the story with the lyrics, and the other criteria is John doesn't want the songs to tell the story <laughs> with the lyrics. So I had a few songs, but I threw them out, and I had to write some other songs. Some were um, very specific to the uh, what was going on on the screen, and some were just general songs. I like country and western music. I like the lyrics. It's wonderful to see what you've done somehow come alive on the screen. And action! One of the things that I love and appreciate about this project is how it came about. Um, I worked with John on the history play for Three Oaks and was one of his performers in there. And, and there was this one cast member that I gravitated to, that we just, when we weren't on stage, we were talking, laughing, having fun, and that was, that was Tori. I teach at the Harold Ramis Film School at Second City, and uh, I had seen Tori in, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 of my students' projects. Uh, and one of the classes I, as part of my teaching is I direct for them and I used her, I cast her in that and I enjoyed working with her and I, I was really impressed with the variety of characters that she was able to play for my students. So probably the genesis of this project is her. It started with her. I mean, John was teaching her and he wanted her to write a screenplay and he saw something in her that was better than he's seen anyone. He, that she was it girl. Really mm -hmm. big girl for him. First of all, it's a huge collaboration with um, Mr. Hancock. And um, we had written a different script that was more comedic um, because we had just
just based off of people we had known and, and uh, just a different vision. And it evolved to more of a family drama. And I think, you know, they say, write what you know. So I used subconsciously uh, elements of my life and past wounds and whatnot to construct this character. And actually the character's name is after my mom. Her name is Marin. And um, a lot of it, though, was based off of loss and how to keep moving forward in life um, after your dreams, despite perhaps things you wouldn't have anticipated, like an illness or a death or some sort of pain or whatnot. And so healing those wounds, but still going after your dreams and bringing people with you. And I was very fortunate enough to do that with my family actually on the film, to have them be a part of it, um, which was pretty special. Now I don't know if it's right Cause I'm standing on shaky ground But I know what I am feeling And I'm letting my guard down He was just blown away by her talent, which I, as well, yeah. was blown away too, cause she's just, She's got an effervescent quality about her that just, uh, she radiates. I thought, oh boy, this, this is Bob Padero, this is somebody wonderful. Uh, she's going to be an important actress and I want to work with her. She's one heck of a good actor. I mean, there were a lot of um, scenes where, you know, like when her father was sick in the hospital and she was at the cemetery and she had to get into character and cry. and. I remember her saying to her at one point that when the movie was over that she was going to have to get therapy because of all the <laughs> emotional scenes she was doing. But yeah, she's um, just another one, one of the cast members that was very uh, embracing to that. No matter where you worked on the set, you know, tons of fun. Um, <laughs> she was always very adamant about you know getting her lines down, getting her scenes, feeling the emotions. Uh, you know, not only the day of, but also prior days and weeks before. Every day she came in with so much potential and kindness to everyone that there's no way you would not want to help her achieve her goal, whether it be to give her water when she's thirsty <laughs> or a pat on the back after a hard shoot. So, Tori's great. If she had not wanted to do it, I would not have done it. The first, she was the first person I went to and I said, I want to make a film, do you want to do it? And she said yes. And if she hadn't wanted to do it, I would have done something else. And then when she started writing it, there they are talking about what's going on and they're talking about a possible makeout scene, they're talking about how they're writing the screen, laying stuff, the script, and and uh, she goes, okay, and then, you know, after we kiss, then we go to the next scene, and he's like, but do we go to the next scene? And she's like, yeah, yeah. But are you sure? And I could see her just, you know, going with whatever, yep. whatever would happen. Um, and I saw her do that so many times. And she wrote the script. And she changed the script every time, you know, we, we needed some kind of change. Um, as she saw it developing and she, get, she became more of... Uh, uh, you know, an important part of John's vision. I think that the, you know, there were things about the script. There was the, you know, the narrative changed, and as things would would happen, you know, as as we would realize, as a new song came along, other, you know, the the original script was out the window, and. It just became more and more meaningful as the as the filming went along. Working with uh, a great legend like Mr. Hancock, learning from him, um, being mentored in that way was uh, trying because I don't feel at times that my skills, at least that's how I felt, maybe matched my leadership skills or my communication skills or whatnot matched what they needed to be, but I was forced to rise to the occasion every day. Vlad, go down and get pocket better. Hello? John is trying to make sure that we're prepped and ready. Him, the father, go down and get him nicer. Well, John and I have been friends for a number of years, and he's sort of a laid back director, but yet he really knows what he wants in a film, and he spends a lot of time studying and 
mulling it around in his brain. If if I send him an email at like eleven o'clock at night because you know I've been I've been up working on you know the the, the mix. Um, when I get up the next day at oh you know seven, I will have gotten an email from John that is, has a timestamp of four a.m. That's when he's up, beginning his day. He's got the vision, you know. He's got the, he's the visionary. He, he's, he knows what this thing is going to look like when it's done, you know. And, uh, however, the process of getting to that point, you know, is something that John's pretty flexible about. And, uh, I've been, I've been watching the editing process and, um, you know, I've been watching little, you know, little changes, and each time he'll make a change, it just makes the ending that much more clear and right. You know, he's just he's working toward his vision, and then he takes all of the, you know, all of the pieces that we threw in there willy nilly without knowing what we were doing. You know, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I just I I. I love working with John. I love to see, you know, how he crafts the the film that um, that we've worked on into his vision. And I think for this film in particular, he started off saying, "Well, when he got the script that he wanted, he said, this is a film that I want to make.'" And it, it, it kind of gave me chills like you know well, that's cool <laughs> you know that is i mean john was like there he just it was this is it this is the film i want to make and i think he's he's i've watched him you know work toward that with such intensity <laughs> he really uh, you know when he comes up with a change that he that he wants to make he just makes it I've worked with John on and off for 15 years now, and and as a director, to get what you want from people, you sometimes just got to let them go, rather than try and tailor everything they say or do on stage. And that's one of the things that I appreciate of his style of directing, is he, is he lets you just go with it. Um, one of the things that he, he always says that... that that I always appreciate as a as an actor is is you'll be talking over a scene or what is it you want from it, and you'll discuss it a bit, and he'll turn and look at you and go, "Well, what do you think?" Mm -hmm. And that that just makes you feel comfortable, makes you feel appreciated, and and gives validity to what it is that you feel, and what you feel matters a lot when it comes to film. No, I would definitely work with John again on a future production. Um, I would be honored to. And I think that um, learning from him and learning from Dorothy, she, uh, his wife, um, there are so many moments of just growing for me as a as an actor and as a writer and as a filmmaker. John gave us a lot of freedom to do what we felt needed to be done for the movie. Uh, musically, and even on set, I mean, he didn't, he stopped us a few times and said, hey, we've got to change this or this, but that's what has to be done. And consequently, I think you come out with a more realistic looking film because everybody's doing what's natural. Out of all the scenes in the movie, one was with my grandma. Uh, she uh, it was with Luke's band, it's early on in the film, and she dances with him. And we actually got this idea from famous singer who brought a woman on stage and my grandma always used to dance with my grandpa who passed away a year ago and it was really for me such a tribute to them and so watching it I did not feel like I was acting at all it was very real everybody learned a lot and Everybody brought something, you know, to the table. Um, I love 
the um, the mixture of the old and the new. I think it really um, kind of brings a new flavor. No one really ever got out of line, upset, or unhappy with the process. Um, the the group of people that, whether it be Ch John or uh, whoever chose this particular group of people to work together pulled the right group of people together to always have a smile on their face and ready to go when it was time to shoot. I thought that was amazing. There was a um, experience, you know, on set that meshed really well with the young uh, new talent that, uh, that came out. Um, so everybody got to participate um, I think in a in a crew that um, really ended up um, gelling very well in the end some were there every day some were there you know around the regular work schedules uh, we're just uh, we were just so grateful for everybody's hard work I felt a lot of pressure but I'm so grateful for everyone who was on it because they could not have been more of a team player and supportive and I think we all really bought into the vision. There's nobody there that I wouldn't work with again. I would, you know, if I had to, you know, pick those people around me. Doing a, a, a film is kind of like going to war, so, um, you know, you want people around you that you know are going to get the job done. It's been a real joy for me. I, you know, uh, I, I was telling John last night, um, I really had a wonderful summer. I, I came with great uh, great wonderment as to what this film was going to be about. I had read the script, of course, but then the actual filming of it, I thought, boy, this is going to be a challenge. Well, I think we met the challenge, and I think uh, I think the film is going to be very successful, and I really look forward to the premiere. You have a big country base out there, their country music, I think this is going to be what's going to yeah, it's going to be good because it was it was all filmed around here locally too, so I think there's going to be a big community support for that as well. All in, it's been a very happy experience making this movie. Uh, I was happy with the cast. Uh, the shoot went well. Uh, the editing, we've been editing it seven months now. We're about to lock the picture and turn it over to the sound and the music department. So I'm happy with the result. Uh, I'm very satisfied with the movie. I, I, I think it could do very well. We've had three screens, people like it. <laughs>